Oh, hello. Um, what are these for? These are for us to do some metrics. Yeah. Do you know what I find difficult is when I am um, filming to camera, which I'm doing now, yeah. what I tend to do is look above so look I can see screen. my face. Look at the screen up there. Yeah. Not in there. So is that, um, is it is it different if I look in there or in there, look up there? I think it looks like you're looking into the YouTube, the YouTube subscription is so... I look into your soul. Into your arse soul. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're just a little bit outside Dursley in the Cotswolds. We're at Lee Dunham Racing. Lee Dunham the legend that is. Dev Dev legendary. Devishly handsome. I hope your teaching is good for looks. So I've never I, I've never ridden a bike before. Is it safe? <laughs> um, I'm a good teacher, but I'm not too sure about working miracles, yeah. but we, we will try. I've ridden a push bike, is that the same thing? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Almost, yeah. Can you boil a kettle? <laughs> no. <laughs> not that way. I can burn toast. Good. Well, then, uh, yeah, good. And this little guy's here as well. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Hello, Team Duke! So this is Ed, that's me on the bike there. This is my first time ever on any kind of motorcycle, ever. I might have used a moped once, but I don't think I was supposed to. Look at me go, I'm like a speed demon. Basically the greatest motorcycle rider of all time. So, this is just after my very first piece of introduction on how to use the clutch and the accelerator and obviously how to use the brakes. We're going very slow. This right here is the Hanson Lee Dunham. He's telling me now I need to go to each corner and I have to stop so he can see that I know how to use the brakes and then take off without stalling. Uh, so far, I've done very well. Go on, Ed. Off you go. So this is Ed's first time riding a motorbike and driving at a steep. Dodging steep. Yeah. <laughs> dodging mad steep. Mad steep. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's written off six cars. The next bit we hard because obviously we're, we're pulling the back brake. And he's got size 12 feet, so... Oh my God. And he's, he literally is, when he drives a car, it's either full on or full off. We'll keep you in the nut. So, both, the, both Stephen and I came to do this a while back. See if we can force that. Yeah. Oh yes, good. At least he stalled it. It's a start. I want to see some actual. Uh... Fat feet are too fast. Fat feet, Travers strikes again. Okay, so now where we're at is we've done the brakes, we've done the clutch, we've done the accelerator, we've done the turning and the stopping, and now it's time for me to try and stand up all the way around, which is not easy when you've got massive fat feet. All right, whole new, whole new world. I'm thinking we'll go around the track a couple of times, find the nastiest place that we put the camera there. He doesn't want to change that out the truck. What did he do? And if you managed to catch that just before, that's Flynn trying to convince Lee and Steve to make me go to the worst parts of the track so I fall over. Um, for those of you who don't know who <coughs> Steve is, Steve uh, works for Indian Motorcycle, uh, which is the motorcycles that made me want to ride bikes. Never interested in bikes before until I saw Flynn's one. If you haven't seen Flynn's, go and check it out on our YouTube channel. 
Flynn is an ambassador for Indians and they are sweet. So what we've done here is we've engineered a real uh, beautiful booty shop. So you can follow me around, that's me. Check me out standing up, twisting and turning round the track like a motocross king. Um, but it's all just so you could see my booty, uh, which is good. And this is Flynn doing a little bit of <clears throat> ninjuring to make sure that my erratic driving doesn't kill him. All the preliminary stuff is done, all my initial instruction and lessons I've learned, soaked it in like a SpongeBob SquarePants, and I'm ready for the track. Here I go. It's beautiful. Watch. Now, I don't want any of you to be tricked or fooled. This sweeping drone footage does make it look like I'm a lot better than I actually am. Um, at the time, I thought I was going about 150 miles an hour, and I think I was probably going downwards of 30, maybe 20, all of the time. Um, but within a few minutes, with the instruction uh, from Lee, and as I was going past, he was giving me little pointers every single time, and that really gave me the confidence I was going around. Each time I went around the track, I went a little bit faster, a little bit closer into the edges, and then... <clears throat> stacked. So, after that stack, we carried on going. I did stack it one more time. Um, none of it hurt, because I wasn't going fast enough. Um, but I'm gonna recommend going to motocross. If you've never thought of doing motocross, which I never had until Flynn convinced me to come down, super fun. Uh, we're going back again. There'll be another video, and we are going to go head to head with some other novices. Can't wait to show you guys that. Uh, hope you enjoy the video. Like, do the share, and kiss my teeth, and all of that. Woohoo!